So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up AutoTrack Pro 4. And we suggest that you use an SQL database. And there are instructions on how to do this on the P squared forum. Plus P squared will be able to advise you if you run into problems. Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Express. It's available as a free download from the Microsoft website. So it won't cost you a penny by changing to this new version uh, using SQL. So that's how we've done it here. And so we've been presented with the Myriad AutoTrack Pro window here. So this is our main area that we're going to be working in. And so we've got various things to set up dependent on whether or not you're coming from a, an existing station and coming up from version three or you're setting up a brand new radio station. Here we're assuming that you're setting up a brand new radio station. Uh, I've added in a few songs already, but uh, we've got a few more to do. So quite a lot to decide when first setting up your database. And uh, we're going to start off with setting up categories. And these are categories for your songs and also your links. So if you've already been using Myriad Audio Wall and you've been categorizing uh, bits and pieces up on the audio wall yourself, then the best bet to do is to import the categories from the Myriad audio wall. So to do that, we can go to Tools, Audio Wall Tools, and you can see here we've got Export Auto Track Category Names to the audio wall, or Import Audio Wall Category Names into Auto Track. So if you've already been categorizing stuff yourself just in Myriad, then uh, I do the Import or you can send the default auto track category names off to the audio wall. And that will help you and help speed up the import of songs, as we'll see a little bit later on. So those are your two options. By default, there are quite a few categories set up in songs. There are no categories set up in links. If we want to set up some categories ourselves, what we need to do is go to songs categories. You have 64 categories that you can set. Here are the default ones that you get when you first install AutoTrack, and you can see the average time of the songs within that category. As you add more songs, it does ask you whether or not you'd like to update that timing, and you can also choose a different color to show each category. To change an existing category, just double click on the category you want to change and if you don't actually want anything in that slot at all you can just uh, backspace and leave it blank however if you do want to set something in there you can double click get the cursor where you can type in the name we'll go for spice and then hit enter and that's done and when you're happy you can click on ok we can do the same for links as well by default, this list is empty. I've already added in Jingle, Sweeper and Dry Sweeper. You can add up to 64 of these. And again, the average duration updates the same as these songs do. And you can set the custom colors again as you can with songs. The colors do come in useful when it comes to creating clocks. So that's setting up your categories into types and we get a similar window to what we have for categories, just without the average duration column. Again, you have 64 types you can create and then choose from. You may want to add in pop, jazz, R&B. So you may have an overarching category of 90s, for example. And then within that, you may want to select 90s pop. This would just help if you wanted a certain type of music played in an hour, as you can call for it directly from within a clock. We then have eras, a similar window. So you could use this for 40s, 50s and 60s, but you can basically use these for anything that you think will help with the programming of your station. Again, 64 can be added. And then we've got uh, genders and then styles. With styles, you can uh, set maybe a million sellers or number one movie hit or maybe a feel good Friday style. And a song can be a member of many styles. It can be in multiple styles. So you really have a, a wide choice. And there are 64 styles that you can add in here in AutoTrack Pro. And again, you just add them in. And if you don't want them anymore, just uh, highlight and click on remove. And so you just type in whatever you fancy there. So that's setting up the main song details. What we also need to do is set up the characteristics. And uh, to do that, we have to go into settings, auto track database settings, and there's a characteristics tab here. 
and you've got the ability to set five characteristics. So uh, they might be sort of tempo, energy, mood, uh, burnout, that kind of thing. The choice is yours. So we're going to add one in here and we're going to call this one tempo. And you've got six choices here uh, of making up your style, really. So some some stations would maybe just put in a number here. Um, so you can have um, V slow. You can put two in there to say yep, slow three medium and then four um, fast five very fast and six manic and so you can see here that our tab has changed to tempo and again you could have mood in here and this could be uh, depressing um, sad, mellow, okay, um, happy, and uh, excitable, whatever, whatever you want, um, or just um, bonkers, let's type that in, bonkers. And so you could, you've got five characteristics that you can choose from here. And you do have an option here to ha only have one set of auto track characteristics for both the start and the end of items. Uh, else you can set a characteristic for the start of the song and a characteristic for the end of the song, which is uh, useful too, just in terms of the music flow and whether or not you want a really fast song going into a really slow song, or maybe the song starts slowly, but it ends like really fast. So um, that's a decision that you have to make here. And you can make up your five characteristics. You don't need to use them at all if you don't want to. I mean, you can set one or two, or we've only set two here. Uh, the choice is yours. So when you're happy with your characteristics, you then click on OK. That's our songs all sorted out. And we'll just go back over our links again. So we've got our link categories. We can set types, eras and genders as well in for our links as well. It might be that you want a, a male voiceover going into a uh, female song or vice versa. So you could set that in there, one of the uses for genders in links. But uh, once you've done that, we've got the songs, we've got our links, we're all set to start adding them, which is what we're going to look at in the next tutorial.